The ultra product is a mathematical construction that appears mainly in abstract algebra and in model theory, a branch of mathematical logic. An ultra product is a quotient of the direct products of a family of structures. All factors need to have the same signature. The ultra power is the special case of this construction in which all factors are equal. For example, ultra powers can be used to construct new fields from given ones. The hyperreal numbers, an ultra power of the real numbers, are a special case of this. Some striking applications of ultra products include very elegant proofs of the compactness theorem and the completeness theorem. Keisler's ultra power theorem, which gives an algebraic characterization of the semantic notion of elementary equivalence, and the robinson zakon presentation of the use of superstructures and the monomorphisms to construct non-standard models of analysis, leading to the growth of the area of non-standard analysis, which was pioneered by Abraham Robinson. Definition the general method for getting ultra products uses an index set i, a structure me for each element i of i, and an ultra filter u on i. The usual choice is for i to be infinite and u to contain all co-finite subsets of i. Otherwise the ultra filter is principal, and the ultra product is isomorphic to one of the factors. Algebraic operations on the Cartesian product are defined in the usual way i equals i plus by, and an equivalence relation is defined by a tilde b if and the ultra product is the quotient set with respect to tilde. The ultra product is therefore sometimes denoted by one may define a finitely additive measure m on the index set i by saying m equals 1 if a u and equals 0. Otherwise, then two members of the Cartesian product are equivalent precisely if they are equal almost everywhere on the index set. The ultra product is the set of equivalence classes thus generated. Other relations can be extended the same way, where a denotes the equivalence class of a with respect to tilde. In particular, if every me is an ordered field, then so is the ultra product. An ultra power is an ultra product for which all the factors me are equal. More generally, the construction above can be carried out whenever u is a filter on i. The resulting model is then called a reduced product. Examples The hyperreal numbers are the ultra product of one copy of the real numbers for every natural number. With regard to an ultra filter over the natural numbers containing all cofinite sets, their order is the extension of the order of the real numbers. For example, the sequence omega given by omega i equals i defines an equivalence class representing a hyperreal number that is greater than any real number. Analogously, one can define non-standard integers, non-standard complex numbers, etc. by taking the ultra product of copies of the corresponding structures. As an example of the carrying over of relations into the ultra product, consider the sequence psi defined by psi i equals 2i. Because psi i greater than omega i equals i for all i, it follows that the equivalence class of psi i equals 2i is greater than the equivalence class of omega i equals i, so that it can be interpreted as an infinite number which is greater than the one originally constructed. However, let chi i equals i for i not equal to 7, but chi 7 equals 8. The set of indices on which omega and chi agree is a member of any ultra filter, so omega and chi belong to the same equivalence class. In the theory of large cardinals, a standard construction is to take the ultra product of the whole set theoretic universe with respect to some carefully chosen ultra filter u. Properties of this ultra filter U have a strong influence on properties of the ultra product. For example, if U is sigma complete, then the ultra product will again be well founded. Loss's theorem. Loss's theorem, also called the fundamental theorem of ultra products, is due to Jersey loss. It states that any first order formula is true in the ultra product if and only if the set of indices i such that the formula is true in me is a member of u. More precisely, let sigma be a signature, an ultra filter over a set, and for each let be a sigma structure. Let be the ultra product of the with respect to, that is, then, for each, where, and for every sigma formula. 
The theorem is proved by induction on the complexity of the formula. The fact that is an ultrafilter is used in the negation clause, and the axiom of choice is needed at the existential quantifier step. As an application, one obtains the transfer theorem for hyperreal fields. Examples let R be a unary relation in the structure M, and form the ultrapower of M. Then the set has an analog asterisk S in the ultrapower, and first-order formulas involving S are also valid for asterisk S. For example, let M be the rails, and let Rx hold if X is a rational number. Then in M we can say that for any pair of rationals X and Y, there exists another number Z such that Z is not rational, and X less than Z less than Y. That is, we can define a notion of the hyperrational numbers, which are a subset of the hyperreals, and they have the same first-order properties as the rationals. Consider, however, the Archimedean property of the rails, which states that there is no real number x such that x greater than 1, x greater than 1 plus 1, x greater than 1 plus 1 plus 1. For every inequality in the infinite list, Loss's theorem does not apply to the Archimedean property, because the Archimedean property cannot be stated in first-order logic. In fact, the Archimedean property is false for the hyperreals, as shown by the construction of the hyperreal number omega above. Ultralimit. For the ultra product of a sequence of metric spaces, see ultralimit. In model theory and set theory, an ultralimit or limiting ultrapower is a direct limit of a sequence of ultrapowers. Beginning with a structure, AO, and an ultrafilter, D0, form an ultrapower, A1. Then repeat the process to form A2, and so forth. For each end there is a canonical diagonal embedding. At limit stages, such as A omega, form the direct limit of earlier stages. One may continue into the transfinite.